the Metal Span BW Universal System provides best of class air, water, thermal, and vapor protection in an all in one barrier component. In this video, we're going to be walking through the installation process step by step. One, inspect the framing for completeness and address any issues or obstructions found before installation of panels. Two, clean the foundation of any debris where the base trim will be installed. Three, Apply a continuous 3 8 inch round bead of polyurethane sealant on top of the concrete slab. Then, install the base trim. 4. Base trim lap should be a minimum 4 inches. Apply two continuous beads of non-curing butyl sealant on edge of trim, then overlap with second trim. 5. Lay out the wall and cut the starter panels according to the installation drawings. 6. Install mending plate from bottom to top. Apply a 5 inch long, 3 8 inch round bead of non curing butyl sealant, or mending plate will overlap the base trim. The sealant should extend 1 half inch past the edge of the mending plate. Place mending plate over the base trim, compressing the sealant. Attach using pancake head fasteners or hold in place with clamps until panel is installed. Seven, at corners, install corner trims from bottom to top. Apply a five inch long, three eighths inch round bead of non-curing butyl sealant or corner trim will overlap the base trim. The sealant should extend one half inch past the edge of the corner trim. Place corner trim over the base trim, compressing the sealant. Attach using pancake head fasteners or hold in place with clamps until the panel is installed. Eight, install panels from bottom to top. Panels can be installed either right to left or left to right. Nine, just before panel installation, apply a 3 8 inch round bead of non-curing butyl sealant to the leg of the base trim and vertically along mending plate or corner trim. Make sure the base trim sealant marries to the vertical sealants on the mending plate or corner trim extending at least one inch beyond. The vertical sealant should extend above where the panels will be installed. Ten, using a clamp, temporarily hold the starter panel in place. Install through fastener six inches above bottom of panel at each support, penetrating a minimum three inch by three inch patch of the 3M tape.
11. Install the next starter panel. Along either side of the panel just installed. Repeating steps 9 and 10. Twelve. Along the base course only, apply 3M tape, starting from the edge of the liner to the bottom of the panel at the vertical joint locations. Thirteen. Install the appropriate railer clip at the interval shown on the installation drawings. Leave at least four inches at the ends of the panel uncovered for application of the 3M tape. 14. The base course must be installed completely before installing the second row. This will allow for the application of the corner tape. Outside corner panels must be field notched 1 and 1 quarter inches. 15. Install corner panels repeating steps 9 and 10. Repeat steps 11 and 12, if applicable, and then on to step 13. 16. Along the base course only, apply 3M tape starting from the edge of the liner to the bottom of the panel at the outside and inside corner locations. 17. At outside and inside corners, apply sealant plugs to prevent water from entering the building. Sealant plugs will be formed with curing butyl sealant and should not be placed until the corner 3M tape is applied. 18. Prepare for installing the next row of panels. 19. Apply a continuous 3 8 inch round bead of non-curing butyl sealant extending at least 2 inches above the panel being erected. Apply a 3 8 inch round marriage bead of non-curing butyl over the top of the tongue of each end. 20. Before installing the next row of panels, inspect the factory applied sealants in the panel joints for voids and contamination. Apply more sealant to fill voids and remove contaminated sealant and reapply. 21. Install the panel using steady pressure until the panel is fully seated and attach using the specified railer clip. 22. Install the next panel along either side of the panel just installed and attach using the specified railer clip. Outside corner panels must be field notched 1 and 1 quarter inches. 23. At outside and inside corners, apply sealant plugs to prevent water from entering. 24. Follow steps 19 through 22 to install the other rows of panels. 25. At outside and inside corner locations, apply a continuous 3 8 inch round bead of non-curing butyl sealant from bottom of starter panel to top of wall panel. 26. Install outside and inside corner trims using pop rivets at 8 inches on center. 27. At corners of framed openings, position and install plastic molded corner at all corners. 28. Install 3M tape continuously around framed opening. We hope this was a useful guide for your installation purposes. For more info, you can go to metalspan.com.